cold showers. When I first started taking them, it was very challenging. It really was. I remember... <laughs> I remember turning the water to cold and then being like <gasps> It's kind of like going into shock The reason why I want to talk about cold showers is because It's kind of like a metaphor for life A very essential metaphor Discomfort Challenge Change Unknown the reason that I first started uh, taking cold showers was because I learned about the health benefits. I heard that it's really good for the nervous system and I was just really excited to try it and see what it would be like. Cold showers have really allowed me to step outside of my, or I should say, expand my comfort zone and learn about what it is that's possible for Chris, for me. And so, you know, taking cold showers for, hasn't been every day, um, but almost every day for about uh, four or five years now. I've noticed the health benefits, I've noticed everything. But what I've noticed the most is that so much of life, this, this is what I've noticed the most about taking cold showers that I think is probably the best ROI, return on investment, by the way. Um, the best thing about taking cold showers is that it kind of mirrors life. It does. Like, when you think about it, life is all about taking cold showers. Life is about, I mean, of course, you can do what you want to do in life. Or you can not do what you don't want to do in life. But taking cold showers is kind of like living life. If you want to expand, if you want to grow, you have to step into the unknown and sometimes go through that bit of a <gasps> shock, right? And so the more I sit with it, the more I realize how beneficial this is for my growth altogether. Having ever started cold showers as a practice is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And I intend to continue it. Um, I intend to start doing ice baths. <laughs> Shout out to Wim Hof. <laughs> I love his breathing technique, it's fantastic. But, um, yeah, cold showers, it's very meditative. Meditation in and of itself. You meet yourself. You really do. You're literally just faced with yourself. And, you know, it's like you told, you, uh, you, you, you turn the water to cold and all of a sudden you're like, <gasps> right? And then what is there? What's there? nothing on a daily basis we are so consumed by incessancy of the mind so much noise right it's just on repeat every day hardwired conditioned from all the bullshit we've learned in life all the things we think on a daily basis without ever changing how we think about things right Stepping into the unknown kind of sets us in a different, new motion. And it challenges us. And of course, it's as simple as, you know, the way that somebody crosses their arms. They're familiar with doing it a very specific way. One way. They could do it the other way. It's going to feel weird. This is really what growth and success is all about in life. The more I heal, the more I realize how capable it is. I should say how capable I am of just doing and creating whatever I want to. I am. I'm capable. And the more I do practices like cold showers and all these other things, the more I just realize how capable I am as a, as a person. 
Which it's interesting because in life, the way that I used to think about myself was very limited. I, I thought about myself in a very fixed way, right? There's, there's, a, there's a fixed mindset and there's a growth mindset. Fixed mindset thinks that they're pretty much screwed the way that they are. And there's no possibility for anything better for them. And a growth mindset sees beyond the limits, sees potential. And the more I heal, the more I just see nothing but potential. I've only ever chosen to wake up and live my life the way that I have over the past 33 years of my life. It's always ever been, it's always only ever been a choice. Turning that water to cold, stepping into that cold, into that unknown, and going through the... It's just a choice, just like everything else. So I continue to ask myself, what do I want? I'm capable of anything. What am I willing to do? That's it. It's really that simple. The challenge is actually stepping into the unknown.